So on today's market breakdown, we are looking at uh, a few indices, yeah. the German DAT, the S&P 500, US DAT, and NASDAQ. So, so let's start with the German DAT on the weekly chart, just because the market is not open as of yet. So as you can see, like the overall structure is to the upside. And then we have this just to illustrate like that uh, movement to the upside or the bullish trend as you can see we are going to the upside and then another thing that you can clearly see is that we have like an inverse head and shoulders on the weekly chart so this says a lot and you have the right shoulder around here this is why we went to the upside and then let me just remove everything and then now we have this low here and then we have this high here so i think the market will push to the upside up until like this area and then we get back to these lows around here so let's just move to a daily time frame and then on the daily time frame we have this descending type of pattern around here and it's uh it's like an expanding if you look closely and then we have this as our previous high value area and now we're currently going to use this one and this one around here just because the market can just break structure and then try to tap like this one before pushing to the downside so let me just remove a few of uh, my drawings so that we can move to a lower time frame and then look for entries so on the four hour chart this is where we will be looking for an entry and then let me just cater for these patterns around yeah so we have like an overall ascending channel trying to form up around this area here and then if you try to uh, replicate like this price action here like this you'll see that most of the price action is corrective this side is corrective this side is corrective we only have like this leak here that is impulsive and then that means that uh, momentum is slowing and then we can look for selling opportunities when we get to those high value areas so let's move to the hour chart then on the hour chart that is where i'll be drawing like the overall structure that i'm talking about and then even in on the four hour you can just zoom in and then look at the overall momentum of this in dice and then you'll see that it's losing momentum and then we have like uh, our first touch our second touch around here and then we expect like the third touch for us to look for selling opportunities so let me just do this and then we put like the 90% rule area and then you can just put another reline like around that area here to put to cater for that uh, override. So let me just do this and then we can have like another one around here just because the market does not need to get like to that uh, high value areas for us to sell even if we break structure from here. Even if we break structure then we can look for continuations to look for more selling opportunities to reach like the 90 percent rule or the overall load that i was talking about so we have a value area around here another value area would be like the third touch just because we can just do this push to the upside reach the third touch area and then you evolve structure just a bit and then you look for those selling opportunities either for a risk entry your stop loss is just above that high here and then first take profit would be like on the inflection point and then aim for the 90 percent rule or just wait for a tight flag if you're not sure with like your analysis wait for a clear tight flag and then around this area here and then you take like the entry at this point here and then your stop loss is just above removing the three line here then you have like some clear price action let me just remove these. So you have this type of transaction and then you look for your same yeah. opportunities. So let's look at the S&P 500. And then I've already done the S&P 500, but I'll just remove those. And then on the weekly chart, we have this price action. And then we have this low here that I should cater for. And then we have this high here. So price is boxed up. Now we are going to focus like on this area around here on the lower time frame switching to the daily so on the daily what we have is pretty simple we have this price action 
catering for the current market structure. We have the one, two, and then we expect the third touch. Maybe we can look for selling opportunities. And then if we break structure, then we can look for those overall highs at the top. So let me just do this. Then we have this type of price action. And then we cater for the high. Is because it's also in line with that, that touch area. So it can just pop up a little bit and then we can look for saving opportunities from there. And then let me just switch to a four hour chart and let's check for momentum. So momentum is a, so momentum is still um, in a good way. It's still in a good way. If you just replicate everything, uh, the momentum is still uh, not that bad. We have corrective moves around here. We have the impulsive move, corrective move, and then we are still correcting around that area. So it's a good sign for us to look for selling opportunities just because it's already correcting like at a high value area of which is this one here. So let's just do this. So now we cater for that uh, overall ascending channel that I was talking about around here. And then we have like some type of a psychological level around there and then we can cater for the overall 90% rule also and then the hour chart so on the hour chart we can just uh, clear out like the price action just because we know that we had like a value area around here we can just put it like at the top of the structure like this and then we had like uh, some type of a head and shoulders around this area here this would be like the left shoulder, this would be the head, and this would be the right to push to the downside. The first tight flag pushes down and then it came back like to tag us out. So we can have like a larger flag happening around that area here. Yeah. So let me just do this and keep up all like the overall structures and just put it here. So this is the overall structures that we had. And then this is the first tight flag, clear tight flag with clear bottoms. And then it seems like it takes us out and then we can have like a larger flag that is going to happen around this area here. It can just give us like uh, this type of price action, pushes down clearly and then comes back to that high value area. Then we have like an evolved structure like this, a larger flag, and then we look for selling opportunities on the third touch. And then we'll sell, risk entry, and then your stop loss is just above this area here. Or ideally we can have uh, the second entry being like this, of which we can have like price action pushing to the upside, reaching the double top area here before giving us like selling opportunities. Or we can go back to that uh, outer structures around here. Then we look for selling opportunities from there. We will just focus on uh, the value areas and just wait if we can get like the clear value area so that we can look for our selling opportunities. So let's look at you as deity. And then I've already did like everything. So on the weekly, just let me just refresh the charts. So on so that. So on the weekly chart on you as deity, we have this high here and then this could be that like our low here. And let's switch to a daily just because uh, there is no clear price action on the left. So yeah, we have like clear clear lows around here, and then it created like a double bottom people before pushing to the upside. Let me just do this before pushing to the upside. It created like a double bottom, so we can have like an expanding pattern that is happening, same as like the S and P five hundred, and expanding, and then we broke structure around here. Now we are looking at this area here as our high value area of which the market can just tap the area or break structure a bit and then we get like those pushes to the downside and I can just remove this one here and then on the 4 hour let's just check for momentum and yeah the momentum is there we can just wait for a clear push to the downside before committing to any trade so let me just remove these and then this is the last leg that we have. This is the area that we should be focusing on. And then we have two touches at the top and then three touches at the bottom. So we only focus like on the touches at the top just because we expect uh, selling opportunities. So 
it's likely we can get like a third touch and then a clear push to the downside hitting the 90% route and the overall lows so on the hour chart let's see if we can get like some so on the hour we have created like some type of a pattern around here with a clear inverse and shoulders let me just put this correctly so we have like a pattern around here with a clear inverse head and shoulders around this area here so we can get like a few pushes to the upside up until we get like a clear break of structure coming back to give us like those cells so that is it for us 80 the 90 percent roll here then let's switch to nasdaq so on nasdaq start on the weekly chart also the low the high around here and then we have like an overall trend to the downside you can just illustrate that by using like a trend line like this and another one at the bottom like this so we have like an overall trend to the downside just like this and then on the daily on the daily chart we have a few areas that we can use this is the area that we can use and then it's currently like at that area and then another area is this one here of which is in line with the outer structures around there and then we can just remove this one here and then i'll put it like clearly on this area here and then if you look at the overall trend we have one two and then we can expect like a third touch around there so of which if we can if we get like clear entries around here we can complete the third touch and then we can get like those buying opportunities from there so let's switch to a four hour chart and just check if we can have like any entries so around this area here I'll, i will be looking for uh, selling opportunities but uh, using like uh, low risk entries instead of like uh, high risk entries or risk entries just because we have like a major 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 high value area of which that's this area here so i'll be waiting for like for those high value areas if we don't get like that high value area i will be looking for selling opportunities but using uh, a low risk entry so let me just do this and on the hour chart so on the hour chart we had like some clear price action at the top of the structure like this and then we have a first tight flag around here and the second one is around here and then remember we are at that uh, green zone so on the green zone we expect like to get uh, tight flags most of the time and then currently we are at this area here and then i think we can create a larger flag just because we have already uh entered like to that uh tight flag and then price is reversing very slightly so we can look for selling opportunities maybe on the third touch of which it will be like around this area and then if you evolve the overall structure you will be having something of this nature something of this nature and then you get like the third touch top of the structure and then you look for those cells up to here or you can just wait for that clear commitment and then you wait for that tight flag around here and then your cell and then stop loss just above aiming for the third touch the overall 90% route and the third touch on the higher time frame of which it would be like around here for 26 percent so that is it for today's and that is just my breakdown